Hey guys, uh, today uh, we're gonna announce, uh, we've just launched uh, like the sample manifest, like the sample Kubernetes manifests. Um, so what, what it does is when you start a free trial now, um, so this is a brand new account I've created, like I got started with a free trial through Harness and uh, I've created my, de my default or my dev project. If I go into uh, continuous delivery here and I actually configure a service, um, I'll create, uh, I've already configured one, but I'll, I'll configure one fresh just to show the team. So you create a service, we'll call this to-do list. And when you configure to-do list, you'll go through the motions, you'll cre create a Kubernetes deployment type, you'll add a manifest, you'll specify the manifest type. Um, and then in the file store, that's where the sample manifests are. So if you click on file store, and we'll call this, you know, sample K8's manifest, um, if you go into the file path, we can actually use this as our um, as, as our, our sample manifest. So as you see here, we have the templates, you have the service YAML. Um, it has you know the Go templating already rendered in there, similar to our, our first gen product, right? And if you look in the values YAML, we actually use the harness you know converted expressions. So it's going to be very similar to what you know you saw when you create a service in current gen when it has the sample manifests. Here they're already in the file store ready for you to go. So for the the customers that don't have access to Git or if uh, if you're trying to get started quickly with a free trial, we can have our users leverage like this out of the box manifest so they can just try the product and get familiar with it. Um, and so just to kind of finish up the setup here, if I say apply selected, that's my templates, right? And then I'm going to pick my values YAML. So I'll go in here, configure this guy, hit apply selected. And just like that, I have configured my uh, sample manifests. Um, you saw that the artifact section was parameterized. So you can envision a user going in um, and creating a new Docker connector. Um, we'll say, you know, a Docker hub right and then we'll do anonymous uh, oops sorry anonymous and i'll just use the default one and then i'll connect through the harness platform i don't need to use a delegate for this one and then um, afterwards i'll specify the artifact source name which will be nginx and then it'll be library nginx And I'll hit submit here. And that's it. Just like that, I have configured my, uh, my, my, my starter Kubernetes service. Um, no GitHub required. You can, we'll give you the file store and we give you the files within the file store. So this feature is enabled um, in prod two and prod one. Um, it's available. Uh, the thing, the caveat is existing accounts won't immediately get this. Any net new account that gets created will get this experience essentially. Um, and it, for the uh, teams that want to actually like add this, um, I can I'll send the manifests along. These are the sample manifests, and you can store them in your file store um, uh, so that you can use for for later use. Uh, thank you, and uh, feel free to hit me up on CD Next Gen Slack channel. Uh, we're here to help. Have a good one.